Illinois' off-ball movement created that mismatch, and with five on the clock, that's all Rodgers could do. Jack Golke he's going to try his first three. He was strapping them all night against Ohio State, and his hot shooting continues. He was six for 18 behind the arc. The hybrid zone here, Illinois has yet to figure out how to break it. Stripped away by Townsend. Here comes Oakland on the break. Blake Lampman's going to try a three. 8-0 Oakland. What a start for the Golden Grizzly. And it shows on your screen with Oakland having those two threes as well. Shannon gets the steal. He's going to take it all the way himself, and one for Illinois. And that's where Illinois does best again the transition game. We saw it against Eastern Illinois. Also had a team high 56 blocks last year. Danger working on Naiva LaRua. And he's got his first bucket. And there they tried to double him right as he got the ball. You saw a player, it appeared to be Tone Hunter, back up and try to take him from either side. Golke, quick trigger. He needs to use this height and size advantage here that they have. The Illini three for the last three field goal wise. Up to six for 14 on the game. Conway underneath with the right hand, too strong. The Illini are going to have a five on four chance here. For them to push the pace transition wise. Gary A steps inside, Shannon in the corner. Right. Take it to the hole himself. Finds Gary A. We're tied at 15. When the outside shot hasn't worked, you fed it inside. Neither one of those have worked over the last two, three minutes. So what do you turn to here? Looks like it's going to be the mid range. Townsend tries the left, and he gets it to go with the little sky hook. That's one of Thompson's strengths, his good hands inside, allows him to gain maximum height on the turnaround shots and jumpers. Great ball movement by the Illini. Hawkins finds Gary A on the baseline, and Gary A once again slams it home. The guy who shot 51.8% from the field last season and 38.5% from three alone as Townsend is going to go to the hole, and it's going to be an and one because Ty Rogers blocked it on the way down. Use it as Danger is about to check back into the game. Hawkins only 14 points and only 14 minutes, rather, and one point on Monday night, as that is Blake Lampman who hit that right with Damask in his face. Getting the right shots, you're just not able to capitalize. First the three on Shannon, and now this. Lampman, step back three over, Rodgers, no good. Misses short, ends up in Hawkins. His hands, and Illinois had a chance to push it if they wanted to, five on four, but Chris Conway gets back. Damask will take it himself, find Rodgers on the baseline, and one. Shannon Jr. is gonna rip it. He's got an open lane. Kaboom. Great traffic and direction of the ball. After that dunk, Townsend working on Hawkins. He's going to try a move inside. Cannot get it to go with the left. And the Illini looking to extend this lead. Shannon inside to Dane JM1. Great court vision right there by Shannon. Wind down a bit more. Now they set something up. DQ Cole. Over to Lantman, covered closely by Gibbs Law. Horn alley -oop up to Naiva LaRua. Great play there from the Golden Grizzlies. That was pretty. And great placement to put Danger right under the hoop where he couldn't jump for it. Harmon from the opposite corner. Well, taking himself up with the right hand. He's keeping his footing, but he's not, he's not getting his hands up trying to deflect against that. Conway averaged 4.5 points per game last season. Gary will try another three. Cannot get that one to fall. Oakland with a chance to tie or take the lead here. Inside, Chris Conway slams it home, and we're tied at 35. They haven't been making these adjustments, and it's in part the reason Oakland's still in it. Shannon Jr.'s got a chance for one himself. He's got it. That was a big one for Illinois. Much bigger contribution tonight from Chris Conway. Danger goes right back inside and calling for it. Mismatch down low. Danger does take advantage, and Illinois retakes the lead. 6-0 run for the Illini as they look to stop Oakland here. Golke step back three. Count it! My goodness, Jack Golke silences the crowd. And that's his signature. We've seen him make so many of those plays. A member of the first team, all great Midwest Athletic Conference. As mentioned earlier, Jack Golke, the transfer from Hillsdale College, as George alluded to. Shannon is open for three. He answers. He doesn't back off of him. He doesn't bite on those fakes. And that's been the difference. Coleman Hawkins inside to Gary A. Illinois leads it by 11. Yeah, beautiful feed right there from Hawkins again. Golke two for six now from three-pointer and in general in this game. Shannon, three-pointer himself. Count it! Terrence Shannon Jr. might have just iced this one. And look at that. No Conway, no Townsend right there, no Niva Rula. Hawkins was wide open and alone right there on that side for the putback. Cole closely covered by Goody, long range three. Oh, it goes, my goodness, DQ Cole. All right, oh, there you go. But Illinois is able to survive the upset bid.